What's poppin' savages? It's your girl Ashley Savoy. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Uh, my name is Ashley and I do natural hair videos, makeup tutorials, makeup reviews, product reviews in general. So if you like that type of thing, please make sure that you subscribe somewhere down here. Right next to the subscribe button is a notification button. So make sure you click that as well so that you're notified every time I upload a new video. And to my OG Ride or Die Savage subscribers, thank you so much for coming back and rocking with your girl for another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I slick down my short natural hair. So it's, it's like a surprise for y'all. I think this is the first video I'm going to be putting up of my hair short. I did record myself cutting my hair, but it's on my phone, which is broken right now. But once I get it fixed, I will upload that video if you guys still want to see it. Um, and if this video was years and years ago or months and months ago, then it's probably already up. So check the card section up here and you can check out uh, the whole why as to why I cut my hair. But I'm going to show you guys how I slip my hair down. And I think I'm going to be adding a little bit of color to my hair today as well. So... I'm excited and uh, yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. Okay, yeah. so um, I rinsed my rinsed my hair today and put some conditioner in it and right now it has a whole bunch of gel in it but that's because I was going to do a video on doing finger waves in my hair but it just wasn't working. I think my hair has to be a lot shorter because it looks pretty short but it's, it's got a little length to it. It's probably about four inches long. So it's too long to do finger waves on. So I'm thinking about cutting it shorter, but we'll see. So my hair has hella gel in it. It was already parted as well, so that's the parting. I don't think I have to explain parting my hair, but you know, it's just simple. Get a comb, draw a line, separate it. And the gel that I'm using today is the Wet Line Extreme Gel. This is my holy grail gel. I have not stopped using it since I started using it. And if you guys don't know um, about how I feel as far as the Wetline Extreme Gel, I have a whole video um, here on my channel about, uh, I did like a wash and go using the Wetline Extreme Gel. And uh, so I will have that in the cards for you up here to check out if you're interested. So yeah. So um, what you will need for this style is like a small tooth comb. So I have like a, I have a rat tail and I have a regular small tooth comb or like has bigger teeth but has small ones down near the end you will need some gel um also if you do want to moisturize your hair prior to this style i would recommend doing that i did put leave-in conditioner and curling cream in my hair uh prior to uh wanting to style my hair you will also need mousse this is the mousse i'm gonna be using today the water body mousse which is almost gone um and then um also if you want you can have a spray bottle handy if you want to make your hair wet but my hair was dry prior to me putting the gel in it and now it looks pretty wet and i think i can still do the same style usually my hair is like soaking wet but it takes forever to dry because i do have low porosity hair so i did not wet it today so hopefully it dries quicker so let me just walk you through the entire process because since i what I was going to do prior to this video was a fail. I did prep my hair. Um, so I told you guys what I put in my hair, but I also took this paddle brush. This is the Straight Talk brush by, um, what is it, was it by? Equate, I think, the Walmart brand. And I just brushed my hair out, like I brushed all the curls out so that it was detangled. And then I put the gel in and then I combed through my hair while the gel was in it so that the gel would be evenly distributed within uh, throughout my entire head. So. The gel's in, so I'm just going to take my small tooth comb and I'm going to, like I told you guys, just comb through the hair so that you know that the gel is evenly distributed within your hair. It's going to just start laying down. Well, for me anyways, um, uh, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know I have, I tell, I say that I have 3C4A curl pattern. Someone in one of my old videos was like, you do not have 3C4A hair, you have 4B, 4C, and I'm like, I really don't like I'm not gonna sit here and lie about my hair texture or my curl pattern I do not have kinky I don't feel like I have a kinky hair texture I feel like I have more of a curly hair texture and close to the front of my hair it's more of a wave. I mean it curls as you can see but like it's more of a wave like it don't really curl too bad too not too bad but too much at the front of my head so I will continue saying that I have uh, 3C, 4A hair, or maybe 4A, 4B at the, you know, if we pushing it, but I just, I just really feel like I have 3C, 4A hair. So, um, anyways, I'm going to just continue combing it through with the small tooth comb, 
and I do recommend using like a brush or a, a wider tooth comb before this so you don't like yank your hair out. But my hair is pretty manageable. I have fine, uh, almost it's fine textured, but my the density of my hair is very fine. So um, I don't, it doesn't take me long to detangle and um, like me using a small tooth comb doesn't cause like really any tension on my hair or anything like that. So um i'm able to just easily go through my hair with this but um, if you do have like a kinkier texture i would recommend using a wider tooth comb first and then going in with the small tooth comb um i've been natural before if you guys didn't know when i first started my youtube channel i had my short natural hair i always like i didn't really do too much with it and this is a style i never even thought about trying with it so uh, this this second time that I've done my big chop, I really wanted to see what see what kind of sleek styles I could do. So I've been wearing this one a lot. When I do wear my hair out and don't wear like a wig or anything, I do like to wear this style. It is a little difficult sometimes um, as far as it lasting, only because of the issues that I'm having with my hair right now, which um, I um detailed or went into detail about in my big chop video so check that out so that you know exactly what i'm talking about but um so i'm just taking some more gel and just adding it in my hair because we really want it to lay down so it takes a lot of gel like i probably use more gel in this style than i would um, with a wash and go when my hair was longer and I'm really thinking about going shorter. I did cut my hair myself It is not even by any means, but you know That's the beauty of having curls. You can finesse <laughs> you can finesse your hair to make it look like it's even uh, when, Once it's curly, so I'm just adding more gel wherever I feel like needs it because we really want this to lay down I like to like kind of lay it down. I like to kind of lay it down from the bottom and work my way up just so that it lays really, really flat. Since there's more hair on the side, you don't want to have any lumps or anything. All right, so we're pretty much sleek mm -hmm. and slick. It is rising a little bit in some areas, but it's okay. We are gonna go back with some mousse. But before I do that, I do wanna add some of this hair color in my head. So yeah, I definitely feel like I need to cut some more of my hair because I just have like this little extra down here at the back, which makes it hard for it to lay down as flat as I would prefer for it to, but you know, you get you get what you get. You work with what you got. So that's what I'm doing. Um, okay. So since we're pretty much uh, slicked down, I'm just gonna take a brush and I'm just gonna go over that and just like reinforce the gel and the slick down and just make sure everything is really, really laid. So as you can see, we are late, honey. So before I put in the mousse, I'm going to put in a hair color. So I have all of these color effect um, hair color waxes by Magic Collection. So I have black, I have gold. I've got this pink one that looks more burgundy once you put it in your hair. I've also got purple, which is so pretty. And then I've also got blue so I don't know if the whole hair color wax wave is like gone at this point but I don't care because this is like the perfect way to color your hair without damaging your hair um, prior to like when I first went natural probably like a year or so into me being natural I did bleach my hair and it damaged the mess out of my hair so I just like vowed to never put any chemicals in my hair especially when it comes to hair color so um, I love these for changing the color of my hair without like doing any damage so today I think I'm gonna go with this pink one uh, I do kind of want to see what my hair looks like burgundy and I haven't used these in a while so 
they just look like they feel like hair product um it is like a very thick consistency it looks pink so this is what i'm going to use today i'm just going to put it all over my hands it's such a pretty pink but i mean on top of like dark hair it's going to like look darker so i think it gives me more of like a burgundy feel so i'm just going to take it and go over my entire head just like this I'm just gonna take my comb and kind of comb it through so that it blends better. <laughs> now that we've got the color in, I really wish it wasn't so pink right here. But my hair is thinner around my edges, so. That's just whatever that is. I'm just going to take like a towel and kind of just yeah. oh. see if I can get rid of some of that so it's not so intense. That's as good as it's going to get. Okay, I'm going to go back. I mean, I'm going to go in with my Lotta Body uh, Mousse. Now, y'all can see that I have it on my hands, but um, it comes off very easily. I just have to rinse my hands off in some water. I just wiped it off with a towel for the time being. So, I got my mousse. And I feel like this is just, this helps the hair mold. This helps mold the hair to how you want it. So that's why I use mousse. When I tried doing the style without mousse, it was just a whole mess, so. Take my comb again and just kind of comb those curls down because they're not laying. I don't know what's going on. So I'm going to do a 360 so you guys can see what it's looking like. I hope it doesn't look bad because I can't see the back of my head. But I love this color. So I'm actually going to take a scarf. I'm going to take this do rag that I bought at the beauty supply store. Um, it's kind of dirty looking because I've gotten makeup on it but um shoot it has sparkles on it so I have to use it on the side with where the seams on the inside and I really don't want to do that but typically the seam doesn't really mess up my hair so I'm just gonna and also real quick I'm gonna spray some no I'm not I'm gonna spray I don't want to, I'm gonna spray some hairspray on my hair too just so I can get a good hold um this is just um the equate firm hold um, a hairspray from Walmart. It's com comparable to the Tresemme 3 2 spray, which I've never used, so I don't know how to. Com I don't know how I would compare that, but it's a light hold compared to like Got to Be spray for sure. So I'm just gonna spray my hair, and then <clears throat> I'm gonna take this do rag and I'm gonna put it over my head. Go about right here, and then I just like to make sure the tail is pulled down really good. And I'm just gonna go over my ears, I'm gonna smooth the hair down in the back like that so that it doesn't come up, and then I'll take where is it All right here? Okay, kind of go up and then squeeze down. <laughs> And then come around, and then go around again at the back. And like as I'm tying it down, I lift it up here. And then as I'm tightening it, I push down so that the hair is really laid down. And I'm just gonna do it in a little bow knot. And then I'm gonna pull the tail down. So the hair looks flat. I can feel like there's bumps in the back. So I will take my the end of my rat tail, 
comb and just push everything down. Push the hair down, push the do-rag down. So that's really flat. And then I'm also gonna take um, a bandana and tie my hair down as well. And that's why I said I also will just like put a blow dryer to it also if I want to just speed up the process. But I'll probably just leave this on here. I'm gonna do my makeup and then I'll come back and show you guys what it's looking like. Okay guys, so I'm doing my makeup. It's not like I just put this makeup on right quick. So, um, just to reveal you, to you guys my hair, it's still kind of wet, but it, I feel like it's mostly set. Like for the most part it's set. My ears are in so much pain because I pinned my ears back. <laughs> Look at that, oh my goodness. Okay, so, wave check. <laughs> paint wax on my ears but just like you don't see that <laughs> I'll do a little 360 for you guys so yeah that is how I slick down my short natural curly hair and you know with a little added color just because um yeah so if you guys like this video make sure that you smash that like button subscribe down below hit the bell notification icon as well so you're notified every time i upload a new video let me know what you think down below in the comments and i will see y'all in the next video bye savages <laughs>